Destiny Lachey, who made history on the TLC reality show My 600 Pound Life as the series' first transgender star, has died. She was 30 years old. Premiering in 2012, My 600 Pound Life is a reality series which helps morbidly obese participants gain access to weight loss programs and surgical operations to assist with their weight loss. Lachey, a Louisiana native, went on the show during its seventh season to help take charge of her own weight issues, which she said she had struggled with for most of her life. While Lachey had told viewers that she loved her curves, she also said that she knew she needed to lose weight, both for the sake of her long-term health and so that she could be approved as a candidate for gender-affirming surgeries. In her episode on the series, Lachey told viewers that food was her way of escaping depression and pain but she knew that the same habits around food that brought comfort to her were also threatening her life. My situation is at a breaking point. I need to get help. I need to be able to lose this weight or they're going to be bearing me next. Destiny Lachey's weight problems began when she was very young. Born to a teenage mother, Lachey was placed in foster care as a child and reportedly weighed as much as 150 pounds by the time she was age nine. Her weight continued to increase during adolescence, and when she reached the age of 15, Lachey reportedly weighed 350 pounds. Lachey also said that she experienced an emotionally traumatic childhood as she grappled with her gender and sexual identity. At the age of 18, she came out as gay to her family members, many of whom reportedly shamed her. Though she presented as female during her episode of My 600 Pound Life, she reportedly spent years near the end of her life with a more fluid identity presenting as both male and female in social media posts, sometimes using the name Matthew. As a young adult, Lachey's weight and mental health struggles grew deeper, taking a turn for the worse when her brother died from complications from a minor surgical procedure. She said her decision to sign up for My 600 Pound Life was motivated by this past trauma. Right before Destiny signed on to My 600 Pound Life, she weighed 668 pounds and had previously attempted suicide. By the end of her weight loss journey, she lost more than 500 pounds, but her struggles with mental health didn't go away. In 2020, Lachey filed a lawsuit against the production company behind My 600 Pound Life, alleging that the production's treatment of her during filming made her suicidal. She claimed that the producers had taken advantage of her, exploiting her as she dealt with emotional distress stemming from her brother's tragic death. It sucks to not have him here throughout, you know, a lot of things that I'm going through and a lot of things that my family's going through. His loss took a toll on me. After her appearance on My 600 Pound Life, Lachey shared several social media posts chronicling her life and weight loss journey and shared inspirational messages. In a post on Instagram dated January 11th, she wrote, We fall, we break, we fail, but then we rise, we heal, we overcome. On February 5th, in one of Lachey's last posts on social media, she wrote, to everyone who genuinely love and support me, I love you and I'm grateful to have touched millions of lives and hearts around the world. My prayer for someone struggling in any way is that you keep fighting. Know you're beautiful, you're strong. I'm grateful for my journey and all I've been through, I don't regret a single moment." Lachey's brother, Wayne Compton, mourned the passing of a sibling in a post on Facebook. In a post about her death, he wrote in part, I accept you for who you are. I accept every flaw that come with you. I'm sorry you felt alone. I'm sorry you felt you had nobody else to turn to. I'm sorry you felt you had no other option. The cause of Lachey's death was not immediately announced. If you or someone you know is struggling with mental health, please contact the Crisis Text Line by texting HOME to 741741. Call the National Alliance on Mental Illness Helpline at 1-800-950-NAMI-6264 or visit the National Institute of Mental Health website.